Andrew Tate's just been put in solitary confinement, and more of his alleged victims are speaking out about this case. From inviting Aiden Ross to visit him in jail and getting snitched on by his own assistant, this case keeps getting crazier every day, so let's get into it. More recently, there have been statements made from another girl who's listed on the list of victims in the court case, but she claims she isn't a victim at all. I don't think it's just the victims lying anymore, it's the police as well. Now, the other two victims that the police claim to be involved in this case are me and Batteries. We have been given three statements so far, clearly saying we are not victims, but our statements keep getting thrown away. These are some pretty important claims and pieces of evidence if it ends up being true. But now she is just one of the many women close to the Tate brothers who have spoken out positively about them online. Although no negative claims or stories have been shared online, leaving many viewers and fans of the Tate brothers wondering what the real evidence being displayed in court is. As we mentioned, Andrew Tate literally invited Aiden Ross to visit him in jail through a tweet, and Aiden even confirmed in a paparazzi video that it is most likely going to happen. Alright, you're going to see uh, Andrew Tate soon, right? Uh... Soon, bro. Okay. You know, you know we're right, right now we're currently working on uh, figuring out our teams, but uh -huh. we're gonna make it happen. Okay, okay. This will be absolutely crazy to see unfold, as this will be the first person outside of those involved in the trial who will have details about it. But as we mentioned, not everything with this trial is going well. We know Andrew's Twitter has been active throughout this whole time, but recently the tweets have become more specific and less vague, with comments like, I'm in detention as they look for evidence, evidence they will never find because we are not guilty. They have and will continue to ignore and throw away any and all testimony or hard evidence we are innocent. My case isn't about the truth, this is about politics. And although it seems like he's had more access to his phone, or at least access to tell someone what to tweet for him, it seems like the actual situation inside of jail might be getting worse. He tweeted, Solitary confinement provides a perfect environment to meditate and hone my dragon fist. Once they fail to kill me, I will emerge. Perpetrators beware. This sounds very ominous and has fans wondering how he ended up in solitary confinement in the first place. Usually prisoners put into solitary confinement for breaking the rules or getting into a fight with another prisoner. So maybe Andrew and Tristan aren't getting along with everyone on the inside. Tay himself has also retweeted some statements from people speaking out on his behalf. Like the video we played before and also a statement from the two other girls. One saying, you cannot describe me as a victim if I'm not a victim. And also revealed some more facts about what happened before the arrest and how the government had been listening to them following them, and trying to gain evidence to arrest them. The tweet he reposted read, Tate held in custody for another month, nine months of wiretaps and home raids, and they still can't find enough evidence to prosecute him. Interesting. Although this makes it sound like they are displaying a lot of evidence in court against their brothers, the statement from his lawyer made it sound like that isn't the case at all. They didn't present new ev uh, evidences for the extensions. They talked about the fact they have to re-administrate some evidences, or the fact that for the investigation in that moment, at this moment, it's better like the defendants to stay in the arrest. Although he seems disappointed that there hasn't been any more evidence provided or solution available, it does give people hope that he is optimistic about the outcome. Tristan Tate, Andrew's brother, has been a bit more quiet online since they've been in jail, but he posted a tweet about someone who he had met in jail, and how he was going to try to help them. It reads, falsely imprisoned in this hellhole, I met a man. He was upset. His two-year-old niece needed an insulin pump her family could not afford. The moment I get out, I will rectify the situation. God has a plan. This trial is only getting crazier, so make sure you subscribe for more updates these next few